Hello and welcome to Company Interiors. My name's Nick Clark. You see me here today in my home office. You know uh, out of all of our videos that we love to bring nature into the man-made environment. We produce videos about moss walls, moss balls, displays of all description using preserved plants. And in today's video, we're gonna go over to Denise Caldwell, our floral stylist, and she's gonna start to show you some displays of how she uses some of these products within the interior spaces, both for the home office and in the commercial environment as well. Always try and subscribe to our channel if you can. Click the notification bell and you'll get alerts to more videos that we produce. And also in the link in the description below this video, you'll see links to all the products that we use to make these things and enjoy that. So let's go and have a look at the video right now. See you again soon. Hi, Denise here. Today I want to talk to you about moss balls. Uh, these are a very interesting preserved moss product. Uh, they come in different shapes and sizes. Uh, and if you're like me, you see them and you think, what do I do with those little green things? Well, I just want to give you a few ideas today of things to do with them around your house. Simple ways to display them and they're a great way to bring the outdoors into your home. Uh, obviously, you can just take a grouping like this and put them in a very pretty bowl. Uh, that's a very effective way to display them. Um, but another suggestion, if you want to elevate things slightly more, would be to take a more linear type of container like this one. You could take your, your balls and display them just like this. And again, super simple but effective way of showing them off uh, in a more contemporary style. Now, if you wanted to elevate that one more time, you could make a slightly more seasonal display by grouping them together in a bigger container with some other elements. So I'm taking another wooden bowl here. Just work with whatever you have around the house. I'm sure everybody has different types of containers that they can work with and lots of things available in the shops. By the way, if you see any little threads like this that come off your bowls, because they're just, they're made of moss bound around, you just take a little pin and you can secure them or just tuck them in place. I've seen these moss balls uh, demonstrations online of how you can make them yourself using moss wrapped around a foam uh, sphere which obviously you can do, but uh, these are ready-made, so easy to work with. So just take some of these interesting gourds. I picked these different things up at the store today. They come in all different interesting colors and shapes. And kind of like with the moss balls, you see them and you think, what do I do with those? So really just literally display them together in a grouping and it looks very effective. Same with the little mini pumpkins. Let's see if I can fit all of these in this one container here. So just group them together. In my case is a little rectangle, but you might work with something else. And you see how effective that is just showing that just like that. You could group that on a coffee table uh, or a dining table with a, ni a nice vase of flowers, perhaps. Um, oh, sorry, a vase of eucalyptus leaves or something would be very effective. Now, the other thing you can work with is the single uh, size. So this is the 15 centimeter size ball, slightly bigger. And it looks very effective just on its own. I put this one in a single urn. Now, I love the look of this traditional kind of urn shape. It reminded me of clipped hedges in um, stately homes and things like that. So it's very traditional, very pretty. So you could just put that on a bookcase on its own or a grouping of them. Or you could elevate it again by maybe using one of these sort of lanterns. Some of us have these lanterns around that we've used with candles and things. But why not put your moss ball in it? So if you just put that in there, you can see how effective that is. You can see that off camera, I'll just try and move that over slightly. You can see how effective that is just showing that just like that. Now, another way you could do is then obviously elevate that slightly more by putting your seasonal displays in it as well. So if I can fit mine in, I will try to put these all in together. I think adding a little extra color uh, is very effective. I'm just going to put these few in here just so you can see. You could put uh, battery operated candles in here as well. Uh, a little cluster of uh, battery operated fairy lights would be pretty, especially if you want to put it outside. Now if you do put these outside just make sure they're away from the elements. Um, these preserved products will last you for a long time to come but they don't get wet and uh, they don't like too much direct sun otherwise they will fade. So. Just uh, keep it out of the elements and you'll have an enjoyment for a long time. So as you see, that's very effective, just like that. A few seasonal elements with your moss ball gives a lovely display. 
So I hope I gave you a few ideas for things to do with your moss balls. Um, there's many, many more ways you can display them, but hopefully that was a little inspiration to get you started. Try and bring some outside inside to your home and uh, have a little green and have some fun. So I hope you enjoyed that. Check back with us for more videos on other ways to work with preserved products. Thanks very much.